It's the magic of math here, and today we're talking probability using a tree diagram where we're going to determine all the different pathways that you can take on a tree diagram to determine all the different possible outcomes that exist on a tree diagram. So let's begin and look at our question today. We have this top tree diagram that shows the available combinations of exterior color, model type, and seat material of one brand of car for sale at a dealership. The dealership has only one car with each specific combination of exterior color, model type, and seat material of this brand for sale. We're asked to select from the drop-down menus to correctly complete each sentence. So here are our two drop-down menus. They're in full. You're not going to interact with it because it's a video. Here's our first question or statement. There are a total of blank cars of this brand for sale at the dealership. And the second statement, there are a total of blank silver cars of this brand for sale at the dealership. Here's where I would like you to pause the video, determine each of the answers to make a complete statement and come back and hit play to see my work. Good luck. Welcome back. So our first question or statement is we have a total of cars for this brand at sale. So we're going to go over to our tree diagram and see that we're going to start with the exterior color and there's three options. So when we go to black, we can see we can do black two-door cloth or we could do black two-door leather. So there are two different black cars on the lot for sale. We can also use the fundamental counting principle or we could count. So we could see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve outcomes, or we could reach each pathway just like we did here. We could go black four-door cloth, black four-door leather, but we can see that these last branches right here are going to tell us our number of possible outcomes. Fundamental counting principle, we take all the exterior colors, which are three, black, white, and silver, we multiply it by the number of model types, and we can see that there are two model types, two-door or four-door, and then we multiply it by the options for seat material, which we can see is cloth or leather for each. And then when we multiply three times two, we get six times two is 12, and that's what we counted for our outcomes. There are 12 different cars on the lot. So again, there's a black two-door cloth, a black two-door leather, and then black four-door cloth, black four-door leather. So there's four black cars on the lot. We can do the same with the white, another four, and another four silver. So that's a total of 12 cars on the lot. Now let's look at the second statement. We want to know the total of silver cars. So now we're going to come over and we're just going to focus on the silver in the tree diagram. So again, silver is going to go two-door cloth, two-door leather, four-door cloth, silver, four-door leather. So we can see that these four outcomes are the four silver cars on the lot and that there's a total of four silver cars of this brand for sale at the dealership. So there you have it. That is a tree diagram, how you read a tree diagram and how you can use a tree diagram to answer different questions. I thank you for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you have a great day and come back soon.